I saw uh, a monster calls out in in Toronto, and I sort of cried my way through it. And when I came out, there was even a woman being comforted outside by a group of people because she was struggling so much. I mean, it is one of those movies that it's not about whether you cry, it's about how much you cry. I was, I was wondering whether you two can get caught up in it emotionally if you watch it back. Are you able to be moved in it in the same way an audience member might? Or is it almost quite impossible given you're sort of starring in the film? Um, well, I saw an early cut and all the, you know, special effects and bells and whistles hadn't been at it, but I was really bowled over by it. I really, really was. It really affected me in lots of, lots of ways, you know, lots of levels too. Yeah, I, I would say the same. I mean, when I first saw it, I... Uh, you know, a screening. I it definitely did affect me. I've seen it like uh, three or four times now. So I guess really the, the thing is like every every time I watch it, you know, I notice something new and different. That so I suppose I get I have a different reaction every every time I see it. Have you got quite got used to seeing yourself up on the big screen yet, Lewis? I'm sure you're used to it by now, Liam. But I mean, is it is it, it must take quite a must be quite overwhelming, I guess. Um, yeah, I suppose, I mean, I guess some people might have like trouble with, you know, watching themselves and, and pointing out little things and sort of, um, but I guess I, I try and concentrate on, on the film as a whole and not and not just look at look at myself. And what was it like working with the, the CGI? Is that something you just sort of get used to after a while, having to act in front of, I guess, well, something that's not there in front of you? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was certainly one of the difficult aspects of making the film. It's definitely easier if you have a real person, uh, you know, like there in front of you. Like, But what they did do is they made a... Uh, a massive um, full-size sort of model of the monster's face and hands and feet and so having that there in front of me was really helpful in terms of visualising and, and you know seeing the monster there in front of me. Because uh, 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 Liam I was wondering do you think that young sort of actors are growing up now with a different kind of skill set to actors such as yourself in the sense that 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 we've got sort of um, actors of, of, of uh, Lewis's age kind of working opposite CGI and kind of uh, models and stuff like that right from at such a young age. I mean, do you think that it's almost like when you see a toddler now with an iPad on the, on the bus, they're able to kind of know, navigate yeah. their way around it? Yeah. Um, well, I've, I've done quite a few films with uh, children, and uh, I have to say this young man here just uh, blows them out of the water, you know. He's, he's, I've been saying, and it's true, you know, he, he, in this film he goes through a range of emotions, portrays a range of emotions that would put Shakespeare's Hamlet to shame. Seriously. Um, generally speaking, young performers now, actors, they seem to have an incredible confidence, which I love. I, I never had at that age. I mean, I, I wasn't a professional actor then, but, uh, you know, I'm always admiring of young kids, boys and girls now, who just have this extraordinary confidence, which is terrific. Because, I mean, you're completely right. I mean, it's a quite a remarkable performance. I mean, how did you... Was it quite a challenge to connect emotionally to, to this part? Because, I mean, there's so many layers to what your character's kind of going through in, in this movie. Yeah. Well, obviously, I think, you know, the, you know, the base of it really was the fact that uh, Patrick Ness had written this amazing script which he adapted from, from his book. So having that, you know, that there, you know, that, was, that really did help. But I suppose also something that the director did to really help me get into those sort of places, uh, he would often play music on the set, um, you know, the music type of music he played would vary depending on what type of scene we were doing, but having that there, I find something something really helpful. And, and Liam, I mean, when it comes to voicing the monster, I mean, it's not the first time you, you you've done a kind of um, a voiceover before for a CGI character. I mean, can it be quite a challenge to find that nuance within the role when you're not kind of able to to be physically on screen? And because I, I guess in this uh, part, you have to kind of have a warmth to this character, despite the kind of the way he looks. There's a kind of odd. Um, mixture, I guess, or being quite comfortable. There's a comfortability to his voice, and yet it's quite menacing at the same time. Um, well, I take that as a compliment. That's kind of what J. A. B. Biona sort of wanted, and I think Patrick wanted too, you know. And uh, Lewis's character at the very start, when this monster appears, that should look quite frightening, you know, he says, "You know, I'm not scared of you. Get <laughs> what? What do you want? You know, it's like." Um, but. Um, uh, <sighs> I, I don't know how to answer that. I mean, it's some people think, oh, you supply the voice to this trailer. Well, I was actually there. It's my body. And the wonderful process of motion capture is the, the computer guys add this digital makeup to you, you know? So it's it's more than a voice, you know? I was actually there, even though I wasn't there on set when Lewis was shooting his stuff. But he was there when I was shooting my stuff, you know? and giving me this performance off camera all the time, take after take, you know? Quite amazing. 
Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's much appreciated. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.